Saddle Up Sunset, written by a Waffen Pony. Read to you by Riderstrom Penke. Chapter 1 The Heat Wave. Bell sounded loudly, echoing through the halls of Candlelit High, a signaling that every student looked forward to the end of the school day and a school week. At long last, it was Friday. Students cheered as they hurried and gathered their books and bags. They charged the door, nearly plowing through a teacher who had just narrowly missed a stampede of door for them. Something Shimmer sighed contently as she dropped the last of her books into her backpack. It was a satisfying feeling, ending the week of such a high note, and a high note it was. She already passed her test, two tests that week, and marked the end of the grading period. I you ready, Shida Cube? It was a familiar voice that Sunset knew very well. One of that was saturated in patriotism and country grit. Sunset looked over her shoulder and to find Applejack and Rainbow Dash standing behind her. A large grin formed uh, along her lips as she hoisted her backpack onto her shoulders. You know it. Let's get out of here. The stress of sunset's week, sunset's week lifted off her shoulders in an instant and let out a light chuckle. I've been looking forward for this all for the weeks. <laughs> Giving a farewell Waved the teacher. The three friends made their way to the classroom and into the bustling corridor. I'm in the mind with you, Shimmer. Abajack's smile glowed as she readjusted her backpack on her shoulders. It's been a mighty long week since we've been all the sweet apple acres together. Rainbow Dash nodded in agreement, pointing to Sunset. Yeah, Applejack, and she's never been at all. Jash was already in a week, week in attire, despite not having actual left school grounds. A tight shirt hugged her curves of her body, and the summer short exposed perhaps too much of her legs. It would be a nice way to get out from all the week for a weekend. Sunset couldn't help but agree with her. It's been a long, tough one, and she was more than happy to put it all behind her for good. I can't wait to settle up with one of the awesome stallions you and ride across the open fields just like we used to, Applejack. At hearing what Rainbow Dash said, Sunset's ears twitched and cocked her head to the side. The country girl chuckled as she recalled the happy memories. You got it, Rainbow. I'm certain Granny wouldn't mind a bit. They excitedly exited the building and stepped into the cool fall air. Sunset frowned and turned to face Applejack. Wait, you ride horses, like, on their backs? To her friends, she looked completely shocked. Applejack chuckled and crossed her arms and shielded herself from the chilling wind that was blowing through their direction. Well, yeah. Where else are we supposed to ride then? She shot Dash, Rainbow Dash's strange look, and she shrugged her shoulders. It's loads of fun, Sunset. Rainbow Dash nudged Applejack's arm to get, get her attention. Hey, Applejack. She tried to play it off nonchalantly, but obviously wasn't working. She's a pony from Equestria. Applejack's cheeks flushed bright red. Her face burned with embarrassment and the shame of not taking the question's feelings about domesticated horses into consideration. She looked the sidewalk under her feet in a voice on its gaze. Sure, Cube, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to offend you, none. Honest, I wasn't trying to sound intensive, insensitive or anything like that. Sunset quickly shook her head, and she smiled in her distressed friend. Oh, it isn't that, Applejack. I've known you tame horses in this world, 
I've seen quite a few Western movies since I arrived in this world. To sense his relief, Applejack visibly eased up, letting her tense shoulders fall up and relax. I just don't know that you could ride horses. I can't believe you never told me you rode horses on their farm, Applejack. Relieved, Applejack beamed at her fiery at her friend. Shoot, son said, I've been riding those majestic creatures since I was a little lady. My bond with the rider shares with the, her horse is a very special one. Sunset was about to say something else, but she stopped herself. She wanted to ask Applejack what she meant by bond shared between the horse and the rider. But they arrived at their destination. The trio came to a halt as they reached the stop. All the while, they waited for the rest of their friends. Images flashed through Sunset's mind. She could see her friends mount on top giant majestic horses and very kind of animal she used to be. Her chest felt heavy at the thought, but it, she didn't want to bring it up, risking the spoil fun for everyone else. Do you think we can get Twilight's ride one? Rainbow Dash laughed at the thought of her new friend from Crystal Prep Academy mounting a giant beast. It was something that the athlete had thought about ever since the arrangement stayed at Applejack's farm was made. Sunset detect a hint of sarcasm in her voice. As if summoned by her call of her name, Twilight Sparkle responded, Do you think would Twilight get to do what? Twilight arrived at the bus stop over her overnight bags in hand. Fluttershy and Rarity were right behind her. All three girls had double bags hanging on their shoulders. AJ's farm has horses, twa. Rainbow Dash snickers uncontrollably as she leaned against the bus stop sign. We were just considering you get to ride one. Twilight shook her head and held her hand up in stop motion. I don't think so. She crossed her arms indifferently, shooting a glare towards Rainbow Dash. Those animals are dangerous. Statistically, they cause more annual deaths than sharks. I don't want to be a member of that statistics. Rainbow shrugged as she shipped her bag. That was the end of that. Luckily, before the silence could get any more awkward, the bus arrived. Everyone ready their things, and prepared to board. Sunset was too quick to look around, and she realized how peaceful the quiet actually was. It was there. They were short one member. Wait, where's Pinkie Pie? Sunset spun in a circle, counting their friends around her. Is she not coming? For the first time, everyone noticed Pinkie Pie was missing. Then Applejack came forward. She'll be joining us in the farm tomorrow morning. I think she said something about helping the cakes with the mess of order at the bakery. Sunset nodded her head respectfully. Pinkie Pie was such a hard worker. Every day after school, she would take off, leaving the trail of dust leading to the bakery. Not many high school students had a heart of strength to work in addition to stress of class. The doors opened as a cloud of steam escaped the bus. Sunset watched her friends climb inside. One by one, they climbed the steps, made their way through the brown rose lettuce seeds. Fluttershy was last on, right behind Rarity and Applejack. Wait for me, Applejack! Sunset prepared herself to board the bus, raided her bags, and hoisted herself up the steps. Then everything went wrong. As she made it reach the top, a sickening feeling washed over her, resonating in her crotch. She recognized his feeling immediately. It, she felt it once before in Equestria. No, please, not now. This can't be happening. The cur, she cursed lightly as the wave of fear hit her. I can't, I can't be in heat right now. She grabbed the herb, a hold of a rail, and tried to pull herself up the steps. 
As she reached the top of the most recovering lust, rage began to subside. The fog clouded, clouding her mind cleared. Trying to ignore the strange looks from the bus driver, Sunset hobbled in the back of the bus, joining her friends. Rainbow Dash raised her arms, gestured the entire bus. Who's ready for the best weekend ever? Everyone in the bus cheered and launched their hands in the air. Everyone hammered their fists to the windows. Bus began to pull away from the school. Sunset tried to smile, force a smile, but she couldn't. The feelings of her pony instance had recurred, uh, returned, and she couldn't find a way to satisfy her urges. Well, Sunset tried not to think it would happen. But it was the first time to enjoy fun at Apple Duck's farm with her friends. And nothing could stand in her way. The sun had already began to set by the time the girls made it to Apple Lakers. The golden glow cast over the sky and captivated Sunset as she climbed down the bus. As she looked up, her foot missed a step and she trembled, tumbled headfirst in the dirt below. Instead of helping her friend, Rainbow laughed at her fall. Easy there, quick coobs. Rainbow dashed off and joked about how Pony in the past. Sunset didn't mind. Little jabs of that like that reminded her of her actually having hooves. Rainbow smiled at her and she finally opened and helped her friend up. You gotta be more careful. I may get a ride too. Sunset coughed up dirty as she staggered to her feet. Hooves, that was funny, real funny, Dash. Sunset gathered up her fallen duffel bag and began to dust herself off. After observing her body, she knew the fall scrapes from the fall. Well, this weekend is off to a great start. Come on, y'all. Apple Jack waved her arms that ushered the girls in the dark, dark path leading up to the homestead. Granny Smith's place is this way. Santa could see light emanating the windows in the distance. The walk wasn't far one, but it was ready the worn out long worn out from her long day. Falling out of the bus didn't help either. She quickly found herself instead of the scrapes of the elbow. She felt noticed that her friend just stopped walking. She walked into the Fluttershy, eye, extracting surprise yelp from her timid friend. Look at that, girls. Applejack pointed at the pasture to the left of their path. Have you seen such beautiful creatures in close before? Sent touch Sasha where she was pointing. Her breath fell short. There were seven tall equine mammals in the pasture. Someone, some stood in the exclusive circle, and while others prancing around the grass. It looks like Granny left them out for us, Applejack beamed. What do you say, girls? Anyone up for a real quick ride before the sun goes down? The girls cheered, very eager to get straight into the action. Pulling to their bags tightly, they sprinted up the dirt path to the homestead. Only Santa Shimmer remained. She wanted to get a closer look at the horses. Watching Western movies failed the comparison to ex excitement she's feeling now. She placed her hand on the wooden fence, separating the path from the pasture. One horse was making its way towards the bordered fence. It was a little closer larger than the other horse in the field. It had to, it was saying something. He wore a solid brown coat and black mane and tail. And all the going flanks were small white spots. Santa found herself increasingly interested in the beast. For a while, she watched it circle the fence. She could hear them, the other horses. They whinnied and nickered at it to each other, clicking and chattering with their mouths. Curious. Sunset clicked her own tongue. The horse she was watching immediately responded and got up and towards her. It didn't look like other horses were going to stop. And Sunset took several cautious steps back. 
As the horse got closer, it slowed down. It had stopped right in front of her. Her eyes watered in amazement. For a brief moment, she wondered if he really could communicate with the animal. She stared at the horse, and the hare stared back. Um, huh, hello? The, res the horse gave no response, but it tilted its head to the side, threw it very curious. Sunset snorted like the beast, fluttering her nostrils. To her surprise, the horse snorted loudly in return, filling its large nostrils, knocking its hoof against the fence. A huge grin creeped along her lips. <laughs> you're bigger than... You're a lot bigger than we are, where I come from. Then she noticed something underneath the horse, and her voice faltered. Oh, you're... You're a stallion. Santa tripped over her words when she tried to walk, looked away from the horse's member, which swung freely from his rear legs. She tried to look away, she really did, but in the end, she failed to stop herself from looking on. Memories flooded her from her mind like a broken dam. They were good memories, ones of past cult friends in Equestria where they had spent time together. Oh, wow. Sunset moaned, her throat cracking as her tried to pry her eyes from the giant cock. Luckily, one of her friends had realized she fell behind. Sunset, you coming? It was Applejack. The cowgirl sounded distant as she called the further up the dirt path. Sunset cursed slightly. Uh, yeah, I'm coming, Applejack. With that being said, Sunset Shimmer tightened up the strap of her duffel bag around her shoulders. She took off of the path to catch up with her friends. When Sunset reached Applejack, she looked like she back the sand the last time. Applejack followed her gaze and chuckled softly. <laughs> you fancy that stood. Sunset flushed cheeks. Sunset's cheeks flushed, blushed bright red. Had Applejack been watching her from a distance? Did she her looking at her horse meat? The one big one you were looking at called Chief. He is used to round here knocking up the mares. What? Sunset blushed even harder now. She could hardly believe Applejack would say something lewd and inappropriate. Applejack looked at her with a confused expression. You do know what a stud is, right? Sunset frowned and shook her head. No. It was not a term she had heard in Equestria. There are some stallions made for you of mating. His playtime with all the mares getting him pregnant. So we have little foals in the spring. He's big, strong, carries a mighty package, if you know what I mean. Sunset chuckled nervously and glanced towards the horse by the fence, the one Applejack called Chief. Yeah, I know what you mean. After walking several minutes, they finally made it to the homestead. Chief, hmm, he sounds like my kind of stallion. Now Sunset was more excited than ever to get acquainted with her new friend. No one found it strange that the rise of eye raise of eyebrows when Sunset raced to be first to run first one to ride chief. With Applejack's help, she got the saddle secured. Now all that's left is her to mount the stallion. All right, how do I get on? Sunset's cheeks flushed bright red as she realized Chief was looking back at her. She turned to look at Applejack and smiled sheepishly. It's easy, jerk cube. Applejack smiled back, taking her hand in her own. Put your left foot through the, that thing right there. Good. Now push down your left foot and throw your right leg over the other side. Don't worry. You won't hurt Chief none. Sunset braced herself and she did what she was instructed. After a few tries, she managed to simply mount the horse. It was a strange feeling to ride an animal she was so similar to heart. 
At the same time, she felt powerful. To be control of one of a large beast like Chief is an amazing experience. Wow, you're a lot taller than you look. Look from the ground. Sunset looked uneasy as she struggled to restrain, retain her balance. The horse let out a proud whinny, almost as through a response of her compliment. Applejack let out a hearty chuckle. <laughs> I think you like to, Sunset. Go ahead and rub his neck. Just like that. Sunset most certainly did not want to disappoint the stud. She reached down forward and stroked the stallion's long neck. His fur smelt felt soothed as silk when one's rarity is custom dresses. Now, hold on tight to those reins. To get Chief moving, give him a little kick. When you want to slow him down, pull the j pull back on the reins. Do, any, do anything aggressively, and Chief may not appreciate it. Sunset nodded and read her head and looked forward. Ready to take off, she gently nudged the stallion's side with her boot. Nothing happened. You gotta do a little harder than that, Sunset. Sunset Shimmer tried again, and the kick with greater force. Nothing happened. Ugh, Chief, Chief's trying to embarrass Sunset. Get your butt moving. With those final words, she slapped the stallion's flank, sending him and Sunset racing across the pasture. Sunset's grip tightened th around the reins as she desperately tried to slow down the horse, but Chief had no intention of slowing. He wanted to impress her. Rainbow Dash raised her arms and cheered for the other side of the pasture. Yeah, go get her, Sunset. Sunset Shimmer, ride him, cowgirl! On the top of the stallion, Sunset felt bold, brave, and more powerful than ever. The wind blew through her hair, the aroma of the pasture filled her nose, the golden rays of the sun lit up her face. Everything felt like home, like Equestria. She found herself on the brink of tears when she finally slowed down the galloping trot. Applejack, now mounted on her own horse, raced up next to Sunset. Well, I'll be. You look amazing out there, Sunset. She pulled up alongside a winded Sunset. Chief must have mighty really lucky if he took a ride like that. When Sunset didn't respond, she frowned. Chief didn't scare you none, did he? Her heart raced furiously, and a huge, silly smile plastered on her face, stretching from ear to ear. To ear earning a heart, hearty laugh from Applejack. I'll take that as a no. She pat her own horse on the neck. We'll keep him out a little longer, then Granny wants him back in the stable before it gets dark. To sunset, this sounded like a solid plan. At last, she found her voice again. We should do this more often. Sunset spoke shakily as she caressed Chief's mane. This stallion is something else. Applejack beamed better. Don't you fret, Sunset. We'll have a whole weekend ahead of us. There'll be plenty of time for you and Chief to get more acquainted. That was exactly what Sunset wanted to hear. And uh, that's chapter one of A Saddle Up Sunset. I hope you guys will enjoy. Um, I'm probably going to do this in parts. So, yeah. Take care. Peace out.